Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense. Sitting here a little damp because, yes, that Arctic blast that is coming in, sweeping across the country, uh, is coming here. Um, it's raining. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, they say around about 6 o'clock this afternoon, or tonight, rather, um, it's supposed to start getting cold in the 50s, 40s, something like that. In the morning, it should be around the 30s, from what I'm understanding. Uh, but, hey, the show must go on. Um, I'm buffing rooms today, and I got some dust, some debris, or something in my eye. But anyway, um, scent of the day was from the house of Parfums de Marley. Yes, another one from Parfums de Marley. Uh, like I said before, um, the envelope that I have that came from another sub, uh, YouTuber had a boatload of samples and decants and stuff in it. And this morning I was just going through and I just grabbed this one and you know, I sprayed a little bit on my arm and I liked the smell of it. So I said, I'm going to run with it. And that's what I did. And there really wasn't that much left in this. Um, it's empty now. But whoever had this before me, besides Matt from Georgia Gent, um, they got their money's worth out of this. Uh, there was enough for me to get a decent wearing out of it and be able to tell you all that I like this one. And this one is from the House of Parfums de Marley. It is Galloway. And I really like this. Um, one downside to this is for me, it's not affordable unless I can find someone who is selling a partial or selling decants of it but with my current financial state i'm not even looking to invest or being interested in getting any right now of anything um although this is a very good fragrance uh citrusy it does have some amber uh i think there is uh, what else is in this? Some pepper, some iris, and I don't really get the iris, the orange blossom, there's musk. Um, for the most part, I get citrus and pepper. Um, that's pretty much on, from my nose, all I get. It did last me eight hours. It projected probably about two hours, gave me up until 2.30 ish. I mean, I can still smell it, but it's pretty much a skin scent by now. Um, I was getting whiffs of it throughout the day, uh, which was good. I did get one compliment. I was buffing, um, or I was about to start buffing a pod area. And one of the, um, one of the young ladies who delivers uh, the food trays for the kitchen area to the rooms to the patients she walked past me and she was like oh whatever you got on it smells good and i actually didn't hear what she said so i said what'd you say and she said it again so um one compliment today which is a good thing i know a lot of people don't really care about compliments they wear things for them but you know we all have our reasons for you know wearing fragrances and getting into the game so it is what it is um price point if you're wanting to know Parfums de Marley fragrances are expensive, to me anyway. Um, anything above, for me personally, anything above 50, 60 bucks is too much for me. Uh, I know that's a bonehead way of thinking for some people who can't afford to buy it or don't see it like that, but that's just how I live. Um, I'm not one of those people who's going to run out and spend you know, 80, 90, 100, or, you know, 200 or 300, $400 on some cologne. That's just not in my nature. Uh, maybe if I had the money to do it, if I was rich or a little bit well off, and, you know, if I did it 
I wouldn't hurt myself on the back end by, you know what I'm saying, a bill coming up and I need to get paid or I need, you know, whatever. So, uh, price point. Most people are probably wondering. For a 75 ml bottle of Galloway, it is $205. For a 125 ml, it is $295. And this is from their website of Parfums de Marley. It's kind of hard to see. It's from their website. And uh, I'm pretty sure, like always, when I do my reviews and stuff like that, people always go in and jump in the comment section and say, hey, you can find it for yada, 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 on yada, yada, yada. So, uh Whatever the case may be, from their standpoint on their website and their website only, not worrying about Fragrance X or Net or Fragrance Hulahan or whatever you want to call it. I'm just speaking from their website. Those are the two prices that was quoted on here from Parfums de Marley. Um, Russ and James talked about something today from Outlaw Frags that. Uh, I agree with and I don't agree with but for the most part you know fragrances for one are you know subject subjective um, I know I've been guilty of this also that when we talk about fragrances and I've said this before we are very influential especially when people trust us and just trust our judgment and our opinion and we have the uh, we have the power to sway people's you know minds and opinions. So I agree with Russ and James when we when we talk about fragrances and we shouldn't tell people to run out and go get something. Uh, I for one, you will never hear me say run out and get it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's expensive. I can see if it was something like a twenty dollar maybe $30, $40 fragrance, which I know most people aren't really going to care too much about that. It's not going to burn their pocket or it's going to have them scratching their head at the end like, damn, should I have done that? But spending 200 and something dollars on a fragrance, I'm not going to sit here and say, run out and go get it. I will say, get your nose on it first. And then if you can afford to, to own a full bottle of it, then sure, go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to sit here and tell people to run out and go get something. I probably have in the past, and that's something I need to be more um, aware of when I'm talking about fragrances. I don't want to send somebody out to go buy something and, you know what I'm saying, without sampling or testing, and then they hate me because I sent them to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that. Um, And I guess me saying that, I agree wholeheartedly with what they said. So I don't disagree. Um, it was another valid point that I had that I wanted to make, but I can't think about it right now. Uh, it's really not that important, I guess. Um, so for the most part, that is all I have for you all today. Um, once again, from the House of Parfums de Marley, this is Galloway. And hey, if you can afford it, um, at least go get you a decant of it or a sample of it. Test it out. See if you like it. And if you like it, then definitely jump out there and go get it. But if you can find it somewhere for cheaper, please do that. Um, I'm not fully aware of all of their fragrances. And I'm not fully aware of how many other clones or you know, some alternatives that people can do without going to get this for this price, but always make sure you get you a sample or, you know what I'm saying? Find somebody in one of these fragrance groups uh, on Facebook or something. They may have some that they decant it out and give to you. You never know. So just check it out. See what you think. This has been your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense. Here's to smelling great. Peace.